Hi, everybody. I'm Courtney from Schneider's Driver Recruiting. Joining today with me is Ernest, our military recruiting assistant. We're going to chat a little bit today about Schneider's military program and different truck driving jobs you can get if you're a military veteran or are currently serving even. Um, so we're live. You can ask questions in the comments below. We'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, and or if you just want to say give a quick shout out. Hi. Hello, too. We're here for that as well. So um, like I said, I'm with Ernest. He's our military recruiting assistant. Um, and I'm just going to dive right in and say um, have Ernest tell us a little bit about his background and kind of how it came to be working with Schneider. Hi, everybody out there. Um, yes, I do work with veterans. I've retired after 24 years, infantry the whole time. Um, what I do is, you know, if somebody is out of the military or even transitioning out of the military, I like to help them get into a truck driving school, whether you use your GI Bill benefits or maybe you don't have benefits and maybe voc rehab, uh, what you can use. or And there's a lot of grants out there also. So we kind of do like a pre-hire for you, make sure you can drive with us, and then we get you set up for a school of your choosing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and I think Ernest is downplaying a little bit kind of how much he helps people all get their CDLs. So um, has been doing a lot of back work and leg work to help, you know, that transition from, you know, Army to military, or excuse me, Army to military, from military to civilian life and CEL driving and making that transition and change. Um, so it's been a big, um, big help for us as well, too. And um, I am part of the team that helps with military drivers. Um, I personally am not prior or military, but definitely I'm the subject matter expert in earnest to answer questions and um, help us get to, you know, get candidates to get their CDL or if they already have it, transition into different jobs, positions. Um, so a lot of great opportunities and options that we have for people, whether you discharged 20 years ago or you're currently in the service. So, um, now you mentioned a little bit about GI benefits, um, things like that. I think that's a kind of a big question. And tell us a little bit as to how they can utilize those benefits and what to do with them if they're thinking about enrolling in school. Okay, so for people who want to get their commercial driver's license, you can use your post 9-11 GI Bill to go to any school. Um, basically, as far as other benefits that Schneider offers, if you got out of the military within the last 12 months, you get your CDL and then you hire on with us, you get pay credit. So it depends on what your job was in the military. But let's say you were in the Army and you were 88 Mike, which is a motor vehicle transport. Mm -hmm. You would get that full time as pay credit, which means you wouldn't get paid like a brand new truck driver. You'd get paid for the amount of time you had in the service. Right. Now, let's say you were a 92 Alpha, you were an office administration, you would still get that one year pay credit. Mm -hmm. And that is still an awesome amount of pay because most yeah. positions they promote at three months, six months, nine months, and a year. You know, so you're already starting at higher pay grades. Right, absolutely. And now you mentioned, uh, so not only do you get pay credit if you discharged within the last 12 months or currently in the uh, serving, uh, you also are eligible for experience um, benefits, so you can get those benefits to you a little bit quicker. Yes. So, the, you know, if you did get out in the last 12 months, sign on bonuses. If you go through our web page and you see a position you like and say it's got $7,500 sign on bonus, you're going to get that also because you just got out in the last 12 months. Right. Absolutely. Um, some of your Schneider benefits also kick in sooner. So instead of waiting 90 days, you'll get them at, at uh, 60 days. Yep. which is a great program they have. Yep. Um, and you mentioned a little bit too about, um, oh, now I lost my train of thought. Well, let's talk about that. So another yeah. benefit is yeah, um, it more. doesn't matter when you got out, if you were still eligible for the post 9-11 GI Bill. Mm -hmm. So remember, uh, it's good for 15 years unless you got out after 2013, then it's a forever GI Bill, which means you can use it at any time. Right. So let's say you get your CDL and you hire on with Schneider. You can also get a housing allowance, which is called the Military Apprenticeship Program. So it's based on where we are in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So it's an extra fourteen thirty-one a month for up to twelve months. Right. And that's yeah. just in addition to anything you make as a truck driver. So that is another great option for you when you're in transition. 
So um, and the question I get quite a bit is how do I take part in that military apprenticeship program? Do you want to allude to that a little bit? Sure. So, you know, on your e-benefits, you're going to have uh, access to your certificate of eligibility for that um, post-911 GI Bill. When you get to orientation and you're all signed up, um, you will get an email from our veterans contact, Deanna, and she will put you in direct contact with the VA, and then they certify that you're eligible. And it does take about 30 to 60 days for the VA to get that payment going. But once it starts, you have 12 months. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's great to note, too, and you mentioned it. So even if you discharged from the military more than 12 months ago and you're not getting a pay credit, you have those benefits left to you and you're not going to use them or you're not passing them along to family member, spouse, whoever it might be. And get the, I mean, 1400 extra bucks a month is a big difference. I'm yeah. happy on the. So, on the an interesting candidate I had the other day is he actually drove tractor trailer before he went in the military. So, oh, okay. he did, he drove for four years. Um, and then he did four years in the military as a 92 Fox, which is the petroleum supply specialist. So he got that military pay credit and he also got that pay credit for being a DOT driver in the past. So a total of eight years of pay credit coming on. Instead so of that. That was another unique situation that actually happens quite a bit. Right, absolutely. And we're talking about pay credits as well too. I spoke with a driver the other day who just recently discharged and it went on into on a team mm -hmm. driving account which currently right now are, are offering really uh, bigger, higher pays and um, high sign-on bonuses as well. So as he, he was new to tractor trailer driving, civilian tractor trailer driving, but um, was starting off at 56 cents per mile and was eligible for a $12,000 sign-on bonus because he discharged within the last 12 months. So it's really an awesome opportunity to take advantage of. If whether or not you've discharged, you can definitely still um, get some sort of benefit, whether it be pay or the apprenticeship program as well, too. Yeah, so, so I just want to answer one of the questions that came along from Simon. Okay. Do you get disqualified for VA education benefits if you already have your CDL? Not at all. If you have your CDL and, and you hire on with us and you still have those benefits, then you can start them as soon as you hire on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So whether if you you know, got your CDL two years ago and you've been driving for two years, you have those benefits, you can enroll in that program. And so you don't have to be new to civilian driving. So that's a good call out on that one as well. And so, uh, yeah, Simon asked a question. You can continue to ask questions in the comments below. Um, we'll kind of answer those as they come in. Um, a couple other things I wanted to ask um, as well too, or try, kind of chat a little bit more about is just different positions. So. Some people um, mention, um, you know, is there any certain particular um, account I have to move forward on, or do you see more veterans doing certain things or cert driving certain types of account accounts? For me personally, no. You can kind of drive whatever is available to you in your area. You don't have to be restricted to anything in particular if you come on board and have any sort of background or pay credit or whatever it may be. You don't have to drive and anything in particular. Lot yes. Of so yeah, I do get a lot of questions like that. So I always tell our veterans, we don't have any contracts. Okay, so if you get your CDL, you use your GI Bill benefit to get it, you got it on your own, whatever the case. There are certain positions that you need three months of DOT qualified safe driving in order to go on those positions. But other than that, if you like a position and it's available, you can definitely go on it. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, another quick question that um, Bobby had asked is, how do you do a military background check? So I assume he's um, referring to, and correct me if I'm wrong, do you think he's referring to like checking your military like MOS driving position or I, if that's what you're referring to, um, or will he ask just for a copy of your DD-214 to verify um, your MOS so that we can credit you pay? Um, but really, that's about it. That's the only thing we ask for to, you know, check to credit you net pay credit is what we'll be asking for. So nothing too crazy. We don't keep it. Just quick check, put you in for the pay credit that you're, you know, eligible for. And that's about it. So good question. A couple more coming in. Um, Jerry said, I'm moving to California in the near future for, from California to Indiana. 
can I transfer accounts right away? Um, and I think you get this quite a bit too with people either discharging from the military, moving to a new location, or currently they're living on base and then they're gonna be moving back to wherever home might be. Can you tell us a little bit about the transfer um, process and how that works? Sure, so what I tell people, because most of the time they're settled into where they're living now and um, you know they're still processing what the next job is. So what I tell them is, let's get your CDL, get driving, you know, after three months of safe driving and everything's going well, then you're more than free to move within Schneider. It doesn't matter if it's a truck driving position or, you know, there's certain office positions that are available. We have um, operation centers all over the United States, but Absolutely. truck driving is definitely a foot in the door to start working with a great company. Absolutely. And uh, we have a team of recruiters where their sole job is to help you transfer from one account to another, one position to another. So we have a great group of people that can do all the heavy lifting in the background work for you. Um, so yeah, you don't have to worry about being on one account forever if it's not a good fit or in this case, Jerry, if you're moving, we can definitely help you out. So good questions. Um, another question I just wanted to kind of, you know, ask of you, Ernest. So you came on board into a driving company um, not long after coming out of the military. Um, what do you tell most people to expect when they're transitioning from military to truck driving? Well, first off, I know there's a lot of anxiety when you're getting out. There's mm -hmm. a lot of unknown. There's still clearing CIF. I know it's a pain. So what I, and it's great when you guys are calling me six months out, you know, trying to figure out the plan because I know the headache. Mm -hmm. um, the CDL school, in a lot of cases, if you're still active duty. All right. So looks like we just lost Ernest there for a little bit. So we were talking about transitioning. And um, I personally can't attest. I haven't been prior military. However, um, I do know from speaking with him that, you know, that transition in, is, you know, can be a little bit of a uh, hassle. Anxiety is what we were talking about. So our goal here and what Ernest does a great job of is transitioning you from that, you know, what was kind of a normal everyday life to, you know, coming back on board. So we do have that um, great job. So, hey, Ernest, welcome back. Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. I was trying to pick up from where you left off, talking a little bit about the transition and how you do a great job of kind of walking them through that transition. Yeah, so it's all about, you know, just, I help you guys get a plan together. Um, I know it's stressful getting out of the military. Uh, I just like to figure out what do you want? What do you need? Cause we can always get you into a school um, during your terminal leave. That's too easy. And then you have a job, you know, when the army paycheck runs out. Right. Um, also I was talking about, um, uh, you know, just the steps and the, and the, you know, six months out is a great place to start figuring out where you want to live, what positions are, say, you know, you're moving to Illinois from California, like what's going to be available there and what's the process. And it just, it's kind of settles you down a little bit, concentrate on getting out, but yeah. you always have Schneider there with you along the way. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm glad you said that too. And um, given the, you know, that opportunity to basically find what works best. You know, we don't have to figure it out right away today, but it's something that we can work with you to figure out a little bit of make you feel more comfortable, essentially. So um, good question. I'll let you take the next question that just came in from um, Jim. Sure, Jim, congratulations. Um, yeah, if your CDL is still current, we sure do have positions in Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, the best thing to do is go on schneiderjobs.com, put your zip code in and see what's available. Right, absolutely. So yeah, Jim, like a lot of others, have had their CDL for a very long time and just might not have used it in a while. Um, you know, so just yeah, check out Shiner Jobs. They can filter to anything that's available and open in your area. Um, if it's open to all CDL holders, or if you have a little bit of driving experience under your belt too, um, you know, you can see those that require some more experience as well that you can check out on Shiner Jobs. So um, great question there, Jim. Um, Felix is asking, I have my CDL class A in my TWIC card. Um, do we have opportunities posted in Newark, New Jersey? I always love these questions because it's um, we have a lot of positions open everywhere. 
Um, and so if you're looking for hauling, you know, whether it be tank or dry freight, intermodal, yeah, check out Schneider Jobs and filter to those in your area. Um, and if there's anything open, definitely apply. So whether you have, you know, we're talking a little bit about military background and experience, but whether you have that or not, it's open and available to everyone, essentially. Um, what I wanted to ask you, Ernest, is, um, and I know the answer from speaking with people a little bit, but tell us a little bit as to what makes veterans and former military great truck drivers. Like, why would this be a great career and a great transition? So with our veterans, um, for the most part, once they get their mind fixed on something, they're going to do it. You know, there's not a lot of people who sign up and go to basic training because it's, it's, it's not normal. <laughs> go through that. Um, Truck driving is nothing. Um, right. A great thing to do with truck driving, especially if you don't know what your future is going to hold because you're in your 20s. Um, get behind the wheel, make some money. Uh, we have a guy who's doing college when he's not driving in the back. Right. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to make, you know, in most cases, a lot of money. Continue yeah. your education and just see where it takes you. It's Absolutely. also great for veterans, get behind the wheel see new places and just clear your mind. Right, right. And I've gotten that too where they, you know, don't want to necessarily, you can kind of be your own boss. You can go out on the road, but it's consistent, which is nice. And it may, that makes the transition easier. Um, and, and from my perspective as a recruiter, as somebody that is just basically getting you know, pre-qualified, um, usually some of the um, really, really easy candidates and drivers to work with, you know, and have everything ready, available to go they got all their stuff together to go to orientation um so it's a very easy on my end makes it really super easy to work with so it's easy to work with us so they're you know it'll be easy with your driver manager or the any sort of customer you might have to run into while you're out traveling so um, definitely makes great great drivers and great candidates to work with all around which has definitely been a great opportunity to work with yeah, so some of the driver business leaders, those are the supervisors of the drivers. Mm -hmm. uh, they say veterans are easy. You get a packing list, they come prepared, yep. um, they get times they need to meet, and they're on time. And that's a big thing in truck driving. You have to be available at a certain time and meet your destination requirements at a certain time. Um, yep. You know, as well, too, is a big thing, keeping everything current, up to date. Uh, yep blogging and stuff like that so um, we've had yeah any usually if you come, you're coming out of the military you've had some sort of military background you're pretty successful in the driving aspect as well too so um, good questions i wanted to talk a little bit too about and everybody asks and it comes up a couple of times um, and i'm sure you get asked quite a bit is the our famous ride of pride truck so you can talk you talk a little bit about that and what it does and what to do if you see it on the road sure so Every year we get a Ride of Pride truck. It's a brand new truck and it has uh, various backgrounds of military service in all branches. And they are made available to um, different coliseums, sporting events, um, parades, yeah. you name it, state fairs. They're all over the place. Yeah. How you get into that is you have to fill out an application to drive it. Um, it's a pretty good process and they vet your background. And of course, you got to have a CDL and safe driving. Right. It's a it's another great opportunity for our veterans to, you know, try out for that. Always very cool to see driving down the road. It's definitely a showstopper. That's for sure. Um, along with um, a lot of different, yeah, they go to different um, big events and things like that. Now it's been a little quieter this year, but has lots of different opportunities to, you know, all around show off the, you know. Hey, this is what we do. Over a quarter of our fleet has some sort of prior military experience or military background currently in the reserves. Um, and that's just the fleet. I mean, we have plenty of office associates like yourself and have been in the military as well, too. Hey, Courtney, speaking of reserves and guard soldiers, if you're currently serving, that is awesome because, uh, you know, Al Schneider formed this company back in 1933 and he was part of the Nas uh, Wisconsin National Guard. So, not only will we thank you for your service, but we'll make sure that you're home for your, you, you know, your annual training events and your, you know, your two weeks during the summer. And it's not going to be held against you. You're not going to be charged any type of leave. Right. Uh, you'll just be come home and do yeah. your 
I get that quite a bit too. Can I get home for my drill weekend or if I have this sort of training and absolutely you're, you got the, you know, a lot of times that's what's nice to get your schedule that you're out, just hand your schedule to the manager when you come on board and we get you home for those dates. Cause yeah, we get it. We understand it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, our boss, she's deployed right now. She's been gone for what five months and she's still got like four or five to go. So yeah. we're, yeah, so exactly. that's just an example right there of how Snyder appreciates the military service. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, we, yeah, so we want to remember, and that's why I wore my t-shirt today, to remember everyone deployed. So yeah, our manager is currently overseas deployed and will be returning summertime, right? Sometime this summer to come on back. And so, uh, yeah, got the opportunity to take her time off to go serve her country and do her work. So. It's been a really awesome opportunity to continue to work with veterans here at Schneider. Um, couple last minute uh, kind of wrap up items. A lot of people have been asking some great questions. If you have any additional questions after we hop off today, um, definitely feel free to ask. We'll still answer those for you. Um, give Ernest a call. Ernest is, loves, loves, loves chatting with people and loves chatting with um, former current members of the military. Um, 920-592-6256, um, or you can call 844-PRIDE, and then you can get you transferred to Ernest as well, too, to chat a little bit more and see what works best for you um, and what you can definitely do everything with. Um, I, I always, uh, chatting with us now is um, former driver uh, Joseph Morning, who we all know and love, in, um, prior military, able to catch up. Um, and is doing some good work, I think, deployed as well, too. Am I right? Yep. So he's taking some time away to go serve as well, too. So um, any last minute things you want to add at all, Ernest? Uh, I know a lot of guys are actually activated at the White House right now. Uh, we got five of you waiting to get back to hire on. So uh, safe travels coming home. Safe travels. Be safe. Call us if you need us. That's what we're here for, right? Perfect. Well, thank you, everyone. Keep asking those questions. Hopefully, Ernest and I chat with you real, real soon. So thank you so much. Thank you.